things happening. I guess they're looking for reasons to hate me, man. You gotta look no further. Feel me? They do things bad to you, then look for reasons to cover up their tracks so they can feel better about themselves. And that's just the truth, you feel me? That is just the truth. Shout out to the king, myself. So they're looking for reasons just to justify. I ain't got time for these niggas, man. People be lying to themselves, man. Just go lie to yourself on your own time. Don't involve me to make yourself feel better. Anyway, what's I gonna talk about? There is an epidemic. I think the fact that kids are about to start going back to school is a lot of teachers having sex with kids. But yeah, you niggas is mad at me for saying that little kids are annoying. They are. Little kids are grown-ass people who are in a little kid's body. And the reason why they act the way they act is because they are vulnerable. They are not old enough to defend themselves. So they have to submit to their parents until they get to the same age. That's why when they become teenagers, they're so rebellion. Because they've been waiting for that opportunity. <laughs> Even though the infant, it could be a two-month-year-old. And he's looking at you like, I can't wait to get, I can't wait to get out of this body. Or I can't wait to grow this body and grow my strength. You feel me? You can see it in them. It didn't take me long. As soon as I had my son, I'm like, oh, hell no. That's a human. This is a man. This is not a little boy. He's not, like, I'm telling y'all. Like, I think I'm joking. I think, oh, he's so mean. He don't like kids. I'm telling you, little kids are not kids. I don't know why people think they're kids. No, they're not. They're not infants. They are humans. They are like human. Like they're like grown ass people. I know they don't. They don't know everything yet. Cause remember, when you come into this world, your name is given to you. Um, everything that you learn about yourself is given to you. You feel me? Your culture is given to you. Like I said, your name is given to you. Your language is given to you. Your accent is given to you. You, you you learn from others how to dress yourself. You, everything that you learn about you is from the, the people that surround you. So it's like you you don't even know who you are until you get to. When do you know who you are? Like you have to be of a same age to know who you are. Plus, if you want to fit into society, you have to pick something that's already out there, like a major. But the major of what you want in your career, and you fit into it. So you have to fit. Into, you have to prepare yourself as a person to fit into something. Then later on in life, when you are much, much older, that's when you discover who you are. You feel me? That's how it goes. Because when you come into this world, you come in here butt naked. Then when you, then now you're clothing. You be, they teach you how to eat. Your, your, the food that you think you like is something that you learn. You feel me? So yeah, when people, when these grown-ass men come into this world in the infant's body... They don't know nothing but just, you know, it's like they just, they're figuring everything out. They're figuring everything out. They first, in the beginning, they don't know how to speak a language, so they cry to communicate with you. And that's their just, their, that's their first language. Then from there, they learn how to speak, because society, everything is already out there already. Whatever you learn, whatever I learn, I learn from society. Whatever you learn, you learn from society. Now, people be like, you have to find a way, you have to discover yourself. How can I put this? Even when you discover yourself, you have to discover yourself pertaining to society itself. People always talk about free will. We're going to dive into it. I got like five more minutes. You talk about free will and discovering yourself and everything else like that. Look, man, there's no way you can really discover yourself. I just gave you an example. Throttle of example. The food you eat. The style of the food you eat. Everything you have to copy from what is already out there and try to mimic it to what you think is you so everything that you like the way you kiss the romantics your relationship your communications everything about you you learn from what is already out in the world when you came into this world so it's not so you discovering yourself and, and people tell you to be you like you have to be yourself and i'm like 
In order for you to be yourself first, you have to know how to fit into the society you're trying to be into. Imagine me believing that I'm totally different. I believe that I am the bird man. You feel me? I have to find a group of people who believe in the same thing as me that believe that we the bird man and we can create a bird crew. And imagine if I can't find no group of people and yet I found myself and I said I, I am a bird man. You feel me? I feel like I am an eagle. I feel like I can see beyond the storm, but yeah, I'm flying solo. You feel me? You will not survive in a society just flying solo. You need companion. We are made to communicate with others. That's why we fit into something. You, even your religion. If you're a Catholic, you're fitting into that. Then you ain't coming to the world and be like, I believe in another religion. And you start creating your own religion. Even when you create your own religion, you have to find a group of people who can believe in the same thing as you. Then... Everybody else is like following that whatever you've created. But yet you copy from something else that was already here. You made a version of what you are already. So everything that you are is, some, is something that was given to you or was already in existence and you just doing it in a different format. You feel me? So people just be killing me when they, they try to tell you, find yourself. You got to be yourself. I'm like, you're not even being yourself, nigga. You only have free will, nigga. <laughs> Like, everything that you do is already, like, you can't have no free will in this society. Every corner that you turn, there's already, there's already a label there. You gotta go pick one of the labels and act accordingly to that label. That's it. Like, you singing, dancing, everything about this world. It was already here when you got here. You just learned how to do it in your, in your quote-unquote, your own way. Even your own way, you learn from somehow, you... you Took this piece and took that piece and attached it together and think it's you. You probably watch somebody growing up and then you, you try to do something, you try to do something, then it's stuck. Then it's like, oh, this is how I dance. Then you start trying to do a rhythm through the way you think you dance. You feel me? Looking retarded, but it is what it is. But, it, like, we borrow everything that we know. Everything that we know is not even us. Everything. Even when you get a new idea, it was inspired by something else that was already here. It's already written. You don't have no free will, man. Don't have no free will, bro. Don't. You don't think like the way you look, you're supposed to look like that. It was written in your genetic code for you to have a big nose, big eyes, big lips, small ears, long hair, dark skin, if you white skin, whatever. It was already written. That's how you're supposed to look. Free will? Come on, man. If you're an asshole, you're an asshole. That's what you're supposed to be. You're supposed to play that purpose. Feel me? You're supposed to act the same way so somebody at the same time was supposed to see you in that act and know not to be like you. Or was supposed to change somebody significantly because of the way you act. So you're supposed to be like that. Free will what? Nigga, how you free willing? You feel me? So when I was talking about kids, remember, kids are grown ass people. You feel me? They just have to learn the things that they need to learn in this world already. It takes time. So as time goes on, when you see a kid Look, they just absorb it. Absorb it. But then when they become teenagers, they get on the rebellion shit. You grew up so fast and they become very rebellious. Sometimes their parents shape them until it's according to how much you shape the person. If you allow the kid to be quote unquote free and everything else, he's still learning from the environment. He's absorbing everything. He's absorbing, absorbing, absorbing. You have to absorb. Because you cannot live in an environment where it requires you to absorb from the environment to be alive. You feel me? Either you're absorbing food, or you're absorbing information, or you're absorbing water. If anything, we are we are creatures of taking in. We take, we take, we take, and return back to the soil. But we take, we take. We need, we are self, we depend on the environment that we're in. So how you free willing, nigga? Like, this shit is like, you, you, you like, you, dep like, you, <laughs> you have to absorb here. Like, you even have to breathe in the environment to live in that environment. That's why they always tell you, kid, that when, you, when a, a baby, when a, a woman have a child, they tell her, you have to uh, wait a little bit before you take the baby outside. Because he's not used to that environment from where he was in the room. But when he came out the womb, he has to get used to that. Because he, he, he depends on the environment to be alive. So... You can't be yourself without going through learning about yourself and other people to create who you are, quote unquote. But even that, it's not even you. You feel me? Free will what, nigga? Who you talking to? This nigga's crazy. You go eat.